This review is of Swerve, the ultimate sugar replacement granular. In other words, it's like grains of sugar. And uh, zero calories, which doesn't even matter because calories are measured in a stupid way. Non-GMO, certified by NSF. And <clears throat> it says here it tastes, bakes, and measures like sugar. I'm going to say it doesn't taste like sugar because I've already had it. <laughs> Kosher, so it's safe for Jews and Muslims. Uh, born and raised in New Orleans. What the heck? Pet safe. Well, that's interesting. I don't think I've ever seen any product for people that says pet safe on it before, but hey, whatever. What else? Um, gluten free, diabetes friendly, more than diabetes friendly. That's that should be like super friendly, non glycemic, tummy friendly, keto friendly. Yes, so tummy friendly and Diabetes, diabetes friendly. It's also lactose intolerance friendly. So um, here is a big old blurb and information about zero net carbs. And one teaspoon has got no fat, cholesterol, sodium, or uh, protein. Four grams of carbs that are not sugars. They're erythritol. And the only ingredients are erythritol prebiotic oligosaccharides, and natural flavors. Now, I want you to be very careful if you're going to look for this one because this is special stuff. However, there's another one that looks very similar that's also granular, and it has a picture of carrot cake on the front instead of creme brulee. It's not the same. This one has prebiotic oligosaccharides, which I'll explain in a minute. The other one does not. This one is especially important for people with diabetes and people with lactose intolerance, uh, people who are having problems with blood sugar crashes, this really helps. I know because I bought it and used it not knowing what the prebiotic oligosaccharides can do, and it did magic. For years, I have had problems with uh, blood sugar crashes. You know, you go to uh, Thanksgiving or some, or a buffet, and you eat, you pig out, and you have huge amounts of food, and then you're like really super sleepy. That's a blood sugar crash. And for years, I had them, and they were getting worse. Then I consumed this. Almost the whole bag. And I bought it because I needed a sweetener. And I was kind of disappointed because it's not particularly sweet. It's certainly not as sweet as sugar. However, I was surprised because my blood sugar crashes virtually vanished and um, they've only started to come back and it's been a couple of months since I used this. Also, I, I realized that I was no, I, well, the story is I took a soup from a soup to work thinking it was a vegan soup, but it wasn't. It was vegetarian with lots of cheese and I'm terribly lactose intolerant. I had no choice but to eat it. So I consumed that soup and I expected in two to three days that I would have lots and lots of diarrhea because of all the cheese. I had none, I had gas only, that's it. For the first time in, in many years, I did not get diarrhea from that amount of dairy. Diarrhea, dairy, yeah, no wonder they made, you know, the words kind of join together, don't they? Um, and so I did some research and the Royal Society of Chemistry has a paper published in which um, they did a meta study of 48, I believe, or 46 um, studies on the effects of prebiotic galacto oligosaccharides. Um, oh no, they didn't mention galacto, they just said prebiotic oligosaccharides. Uh, and the effects on diabetes, obesity, and stuff. They tried, they used it, the study encompassed normal people, obese people, and diabetics. And it benefits all people, but it benefits the most people who are obese and people who are diabetic, according to those that made a study. And it helped with um, several markers for diabetics, including uh, fasting glucose, fa fasting insulin, uh, oh my gosh, HOMA, inf insulin resistance, and another one I can't think of. It did not it significantly help with quick eye, which is another marker for or diabetes, sorry. So then I did more research about the lactose thing, which occurred at a separate date. 
And I was again astonished to discover that prebiotic galacto-oligosaccharides have been shown to help reduce the effects of lactose intolerance. How exactly this all works is basically the prebiotics get down into your gut biome, which is where you've got bacteria living that help uh, to digest food. And somehow the bacteria that like this prebiotic uh, oligosaccharide uh, thrive on it and they become more dominant than the, the regular sugar bacteria and they digest it differently, resulting in less of an impact on blood sugar and less of an impact on your gut in terms of the lactose. So it's pretty amazing. I was absolutely astonished by it. Um, so I, I am going to warn you that um, a lot of these sweeteners, if you open it up with a wet hand or wet fingers, then it's gonna, the wetness is gonna be here and then the powder is gonna be there and then you're not gonna be able to close it if it's got a, a resealable pouch. Now, unfortunately, this stuff has started to coagulate because of humidity in the air. So I can pick it up with my fingers <laughs> instead of it being grains, but it was grains, I promise you. It wasn't like this. This is more like a candy now, which is fine, but I will again say, It's a little bit of a sharpness to the flavor, and it does taste similar to sugar. I wouldn't say that it tastes like sugar. I would also not say that it's as sweet as sugar. You'll probably find that you'll need more of this product um, to compensate for sugar that you're removing from your diet. However, please keep in mind that not only are you helping with blood sugar crashes and lactose intolerance, you're also helping with getting rid of the effects of excess sugar in your diet which can make your mental health go haywire. Like today, after work, I was hungry, so I had a couple of, um, oh gosh, what are those called? These little cereal bars, the Duos, I forgot what company makes them. Uh, Cliff Bar, Cliff Bar Duos. I had a couple of those, and I had one little package of uh, these breakfast uh, cookies, or biscuits, they call them, uh, with blueberry flavor. Uh, I picked those up at Aldi. And I noticed when I got to the store uh, to do some grocery shopping that I was feeling emotional just because of the amount of sugar that was in those products. And it's so hard to find cereal bars that don't have sugar and do have artificial sweeteners that are safe. Uh, a lot of them don't, if they do have it, they'll have maltodextrin or glucose or dextrose or uh, something else that is not good uh, for health. Anyways, so this is, um, if you're diabetic or you have lactose intolerance or anything like that, I suggest using this as a supplement. There's also another version uh, that has the prebiotics in it. It looks like this. It's confectioner, so it's a powdered form. Also not as sweet, but if you use these as a supplement to help make your, your good bacteria happy so that you reduce your... Um, effect on your blood sugar and the lactose problems, then you can then use something else that's sweeter in order to and get the sweetness level that you want. Otherwise, you just have to use more of this than you would otherwise. And, and that's fine too. Um, you, I used it like once a day in the morning, uh, put it on a fairly large amount because uh, it was so not so sweet. Um, you can do how you want, but Regular usage definitely makes a difference. Um, so, I mean, I didn't know I was going to have a miracle when I got this. I just was looking for something good to replace the sugar. So, I'm going to give this, and this is very rare, I'm going to give this a 10. Even though it's not particularly sweet, it is amazing. Because it's the first thing that a doctor's never told me about that actually has helped me. That's because doctors don't know a lot about nutrition and diet. Anyways, I'm going to start on a whole new rant, and I better stop. So it's already 10 minutes here. So uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.